that today promises to be very similar to yesterday. It's supposed to warm up nicely in the afternoon, but I do want to get some work done on the fairing before I head out for a ride. And it's very funny so far, the way this project is evolving. When I get up in the morning, I don't know what I want to do more. Work on the fairing, work on the body parts, or head out for a short ride. But this is a very, very special time of year where the leaves are changing, the weather is changing, the electric glove batteries are being recharged. So we try to take advantage of every riding day we can because ultimately we'll be done with this before the spring comes, that's for sure. Now it was 39 when I woke up this morning, but it's going to go up and hopefully up into the uh, low 50s. And so I'll have an hour or so this morning. I want to sand that Bondo out while it's really cold out there and then use the good part of the day to go check out the falling leaves. And sometimes just l figuring out how to use a day efficiently can be uh, a challenge. Now in this case, I always love having Bondo dry overnight. That'll sand out beautifully. I'll do it outside so I don't get the dust in the shop. Another saving. The time we've put into this fairing so far, we've put a lot of time into it, but it's let me recover from uh, my mistake of ordering the wrong fairing. So I try to post a video almost every day of what's going on in my life, the rides, the restorations, the friendships, whatever we're doing, and sometimes some of Karen's projects. Anyway, what I'm trying to evaluate this. I'm going to get the power sander first and then finish this off by hand. And because I do have a little time, I'm going to try to do a thorough hand sanding of the whole part today. machine sanding is done. We've kept most of the mess outside. Just shake the towel out and we will be all good to go back into the nice warm house where the coffee is brewing. This is always something good you can do whenever even indoors or outdoors. Once you have a towel, the towel kind of picks up the dust, minimizes it, and when you're done you just throw it in the laundry. Now it's, it's always good to be back in the house. This is a really good trick. This is a roll of sticky back paper. Now it just turns out there's a radius in here. Well, if you do it by hand, the radius is never gonna be exactly equal. So having this tool is gonna to allow us to get this radius just about the way I would want it. Now, I'm gonna be making a video soon, I hope, when I get a, t a day that paint is drying or, or whatever. But one of the things, keep in mind about sanding anything. There's two, there's two things when you're sanding to change the shape. To make a round square, a square round. Changing the shape. So that would be relatively rough grit, say up to maybe even a, a hundred, I don't know. But we'll be, this is a hundred, I think, or 120. You're changing the shape. But now once you have the shape established, or the edge, in this case we have the edge established, the shape. Now the difficult part is I want to put a finish on it. And the finish you put on with, oh, I'm just going to suggest 400 sandpaper. Something smoother. If you use anything rougher than that, you wind up needing 10 coats of primer to fill in all the little gouges. But to get the primer to stick, most important thing, there's got to be a tooth for the paint. It can't be that you're painting a flat piece of glass. It's got to have a tooth but not a tooth like a piece of 80 grit sandpaper. Whenever you have an internal radius, this is a, a valley. When paint shrinks, it'll tend to pull up out of the valley and that's where you'll usually get a bubble in the paint. So it's real important that that valley have a nice tooth to it. 
And that's, that's where having a sanding block comes in really handy. Uh, this is just ordinary sticky back 400 sandpaper and I'll take about an hour or roughly an hour 45 minutes just get this nice and get all the edges radius most important thing and all the surfaces that are flat done with a block all the radiuses done with that little tool I just showed and this part of it really pointless leaving it the camera run this is just time consuming. Takes a lot of time because we're using a fine grit sandpaper. Fine grit sandpaper takes longer. Now the best tip I can give anybody for doing this kind of work is when you're at the point where you think everything is smooth with rubber gloves on or if you don't wear rubber gloves put a sandwich bag or a thin piece of plastic it allows your hand to glide over the part and find little imperfections now I see as I say it there's one right here well I know I don't have a block that size but I can get in there now, before I put the primer on this, and I will get this primed today, because the way the day is playing out, this is going pretty well. Plus, I've had extra coffee. That's the key to life. Okay, so what, what I'm saying is, you, if, you, if you train yourself to look at a part and find mistakes, good luck. When you really want that perfect finish, you got to do it by hand. Your hand is way better than your eye. I pick it. There's still a little one in there. Yeah, I would never see that, but my hand can pick it up. And that is a really good tip. Now, John Poppy, a years ago, told me to, and I was doing some, he's a very highly skilled modeler too. We were doing models, and I was doing everything by eye, and he said, put a rubber glove on and just work your way over it. And it worked to perfect, it works so good, I use it to this day. Now the last step before I prime it, I want to wipe it all down with prep all, blow some of the dust off it, but I really want to have this, this ensures or hopefully ensures that we'll get a good, a good bond onto the primer. Now at this point, because there's so many different materials, there's plastic, there's fiberglass, there's carbon fiber, bondo, paint. We, we really have to uh, ensure that this primer get a good bond. Now what we'll do is we'll get on three coats about 20 minutes apart and put that out in the garage to dry overnight. Three coats, a primer sealer, and that Dupla color, we have some uh, Rust-Oleum primer sealer, but the main thing is it's sealer because there's so many different materials in this part. And that'll just sit out in the garage and dry now overnight. And then tomorrow we'll bring it in and put it up by a heating vent. Now I always think it's the best of all worlds when you can get some work done in the morning. Hey, a couple hours of work here. We got the bike ready. And boy, this bike is always, it's, it's, it's the underdog of my fleet here. 
I always look forward to riding it. A lot of fun. And the main thing is this paint is going to be drying. Now, we really could if we wanted to this afternoon put the white on, but I, what I want to do is I want to sand this coat of primer, wet sand it, reprime it, and then put the white on on another day. I don't want to rush the project. And it also gives me a good excuse to go take a couple hour ride. We have about a three hour window here. We'll get some nice riding in. The leaves are changing. Let's see. Come right, on. Let me see your face. Right, you look. Right. Right. Hey, hey, sit. Hey. Sit. Bite Jose. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. I tell you. When you buy when you buy a dog, it's money well spent. <laughs> so Donnie's dog is pretty cool. But we're, look at it. Heat coming off of that coffee. It is still chilly out there. Anyway. Time for a break and then we're going to make the long ride home.
Oh, it turned out to be quite a nice day, you know, but you don't really notice, but in, uh, when we ride up to Perry's, it's over 60 miles each way. And it gets cooler up there. It was really, really, not really terrible here, but it got cold up on a the mountain there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed sharing a ride and sharing our uh, working on a fairing this morning. And now it's time for lunch with the beautiful bride, Mrs. Ertnowski. And one final thing. Wow, it looks like that primer is drying up beautifully. The sun is baking it. And tonight when it's dry, we'll put it up by a heating vent. Anyway, again, thanks for watching.